Okay, this is your September reading. Let's see what September has in store for you. Right, Spirit. What's coming up in September that my lovely collective need to be aware of? September reading for my lovely collective. September. Sept oh, King of Wands. There's always a motherfucking masculine here. Right, let's see. What else? What? Oh, my lordy lord. He's everywhere. You fucking guessed it. You fucking guessed it. We got the fucking wishy-washy little piece of shit is still here. Wishy-washy is still here. Of course he fucking is. Of course he fucking is. Right. Now, what I'm getting for the month of September is yet again more bullshit from wishy-washy. Okay? Um, there's going to be a lot of revelations from wishy-washy. Because I feel that, I do feel there's two masculine energies in your life, okay? Now, this could be two different masculines, like I said. A king of, is this king? Yeah, king of wands and this fucking wishy-washy prick over here. Look at him, you know? Um, or it could be wishy-washy getting his shit together, but um, really, really? Um, I actually would put more bets on you having two masculines than wishy-washy ever getting his shit together but you know when you thought that everything you already knew everything about this wishy-washy motherfucker right here no bitch there's going to be more revelations with the moon whatever's been hidden is going to come to light so september is going to be all about revelations you're going to find out some truths from this king of wands and wishy-washy as well so the masculines in your life there could be two there could be three bitch i don't know i've heard it all it's all going to be, September is going to be about everything that's in the dark coming to light, revelations. You're going to find out a lot of things about people, even people in your family. You might even find out that Wishy Wash is actually fucking married. You might even find out that they haven't actually gotten divorced. And this could also be revelations about your own family. I just feel that it's, it's a lot of truths. Um, coming out for a lot of you also i feel there's new job opportunities here as well so if you've been waiting on a interview or hearing back from a job and yeah that's also coming travel's also on the cards i do feel that there's a there's a move maybe a house move or you're going to travel literally move abroad or whatever it is i do feel that that is also going to happen now like i said to you because of all of these revelations coming in september from family from friends i don't know about friends it's more families and relationshipy, situationshipy kind of things. Because there's going to be so much being revealed here, I do feel that September will be the month that, yes, there is more healing here. But I do feel that it's when you literally stop this waiting, if that makes sense, and everything's going to be revealed to you and you're going to be like, you know what? I'm actually going to continue my healing because I do feel that a lot of you are already healing somehow. I'm going to close off and not give any more of myself to this situation. I'm just gonna focus on myself, keep myself closed off, shut down completely kind of thing, not necessarily in a bad way, and finally take that leap of faith and start a new life. That's why I feel that there is definitely new beginnings here um, in September with work, a move, a holiday, whatever this is, it looks really, really good. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I do have action towards the death card here, which is rebirth. So out with the old and in with the new is, is what I'm getting. Um, I do feel it's going to happen quite sudden, if that makes sense. I feel in the second week of September, shit's going to go down, especially with that moon card there. I don't really like that card. But this is all going to be for your own, you know for your own benefit, for your own good. You know what the fuck I mean. So yeah, that was your September reading.